The Volvo Ocean Race marks the pinnacle of ocean racing. But it all began in 1973 as the Whitbread Round the World Race. So much has changed over the years, but the fundamentals remain. Man and machine fighting the elements. The act of winning the greatest prize. Unaware of the legacy that pursues them, 17 boats leave the Solent at the start of the first ever race. Three years later, and the legend lives on. Not even the biggest icebergs or southern ocean storms can deter the world's best sailors. The competition strengthens in the 1980s. 29 boats embark on the global adventure of a lifetime. A splash of glamour washes over the race in the mid-80s. Prominent sponsors back campaigns and pop legend Simon Le Bon enters his own yacht. Drama fuels the race in 1989. Sir Peter Blake wins every leg on his maxi Steinlager. While Tracy Edwards is successful in entering the first all-women team on Maiden. A two-class fleet sets the scene for race six. The Maxi's days are numbered as the Whitbread 60 begins to take charge. And by 1997, it's a one-class event. Close racing and fierce competition beckons the biggest names in sailing. Boats are separated by meters now, not miles. Picking up from where the Whitbread left off, the Volvo Ocean Race begins. Eight Volvo 60s take to the racetrack for another epic battle. Cue the Volvo Open 70. Longer. Wider, faster, it's more machine than sailcraft. Speed records are demolished, boats are lost for good. The extremity of the event steps up another gear. And so the race continues this year. Eight boats and 88 sailors have the world as their racetrack. Their quest to win the Volvo Ocean Race. The thing that drives me in all the sailing I do is winning competition is probably as extreme as the races itself. Go, go, go! Yeah, results. This time, we've got to get some. Any gains we can make on the competitors, puts a smile on my face. Go, guys, go, go! He's hooked, he's hooked. When the results are good, I make you smile a little more. For us, we want to win, there is no second. The world is the racetrack. Starting in Alicante, the boats charge into the Atlantic Ocean. The dive south takes them all the way to Cape Town at the end of leg one. The fleet then heads east from the Cape of Good Hope bound for Cochin in India. The warm waters of Singapore beckon the fleet for Christmas before the hard sail north through the Siberian winter to Qingdao in China. Then it's a sailing marathon. 12 and a half thousand miles through the Pacific Ocean, around the iconic Cape Horn, and up to the welcoming climbs of Rio de Janeiro. The Northern Hemisphere then beckons again to take the fleet up to Boston. Then, it's a high-speed transatlantic dash to Galway. A Marstrand pit stop, followed by a stopover in Stockholm, and then the grand finale itself, in the stunning city of St. Petersburg. It's the longest route the race has ever seen, and there's no doubt that it's gonna prove the toughest. <laughs> 